Said about the MEMS design contest from Mr. Anton Klotz of uh, Cadence. He sent me an email in late 2016 and he said that yeah, we, are, we are planning to have this contest uh, in CDN Live. Are you interested? And I said, yeah. So we've heard about the design contest uh, thanks to an email from Covento who advertised for the contest. And we decided to join it because we wanted to do a MEMS project with the students and it was a good opportunity to design MEMS and to work on uh, a co-design of MEMS and electronic. We had two motivations to uh, enter this contest. One uh, was that I wanted my students, Sally and Ren, uh, to uh, learn about the tools, uh, Cadence tools, uh, Coventor tools, and be f get familiar with the XFAP uh, fabrication process. Also very interesting to us uh, participating in this contest because our research activity uh, is uh, about, to about the design of uh, heterogeneous multi-physics systems composed of MEMS and uh, CMOS electronics. On the MEMS design part, there is uh, three uh, master students from the first and second year of master that joined the project. They worked uh, on some small period of time in a row and then we also got some help with a postdoc from Tunisia from, uh, who helped us in the final design. So the SCA students are more electrical guys and uh, the postdoc uh, from Tunisia is a, a mechanical guy and so we joined our effort on, on, on the MEMS part. Our team has four members, myself, Sally Ahmed, I'm a PhD student in the Electrical Engineering Department, and also Ren, he's a PhD student. We are both supervised by Professor Hussain Farirouzi. We had a fourth member, she was an, she is an undergrad student in the uh, University of Electronic Science and Technology in China. Uh, she will be joining KAUS actually next year. So yeah, we, so all, all of us are in the Electrical Engineering Department. The initial idea uh, was to build ultra low power circuits based on devices that uh, not, are not traditional, we call them post CMOS uh, devices uh, and, 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 and as I said the goal is to uh, move toward ultra low power uh, which, which is uh, uh, basically the main requirement for uh, uh, the IoT era. The idea of the project came up when we received the, 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 the proposal from Coventor and it's based on, I mean, it's very strongly related to what we are doing as a researcher. So we decided to work on a vibration energy harvester that could be used at relatively high frequency to be compatible with the MEMS design and with application for instance in an airplane to measure some, I mean, to provide energy to sensors that could measure uh, some parameters in the plane. Okay, so uh, for, for me, for myself, I didn't know actually the Coventer uh, software, uh, MEMS Plus, so I learned that. Ren already knew that, so basically I was learning that from the, the tutorial and he was also helping me. Uh, it was also interesting to have a, a MEM structure uh, uh, like, uh, and do the layout and cadence. I think that's the first time. So it was pretty interesting for us and see like an, an, an industrial level uh, fabrication and packaging everything. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. The tool we mostly use for the MEMS design is uh, MEMS Plus, of course. Um, so we use the graphical interface for uh, building the, 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 the 3D system. And then I really appreciate to use the MATLAB scripting for implementing various simulations because uh, you don't have to look in the, uh, in the interface where to uh, find the good parameters to be changed. You just have to do it on the script, run the script again, and you have your new uh, simulations quite quickly. And that was very time-saving uh, way of working compared to maybe previous uh, release of that software. 
the main challenge was to connect all the dots. There were different tools and the process that uh, the design needed to be compatible with that process. Uh, so just just make sure that uh, uh, these tools are, com uh, are, I mean, the output of one tool can be used as an input to, it, to the other tool, uh, so basically for coventor and cadence, and then um, from cadence to layout, and layout be compatible with uh, the uh, the process. Uh, the, this, these were the main the main challenges that, that we were facing. With, right? uh, the main challenge was to um, to minimize the leakage of diets and minim minimize parasitic capacitances, which are always present in uh, uh, in uh, like, uh, on the integrated circuit, and which are difficult to to, to foresee to, to to predict in advance. Yeah, I think yeah. So basically. Uh, I think so. there are some design rules that we need to follow. So we get some errors at the beginning, but then by learning again, we fix them. So it's just a learning process. Yeah. So we were, of course, very happy to win that competition. Very happy for our students. Very happy also personally because we have invested quite a lot of time in the, in the project. So it's a kind of uh, appreciated uh, reward. Um, and I think also the school, uh, our two uh, universities are quite proud of uh, our students and about the project results. So that's uh, just a lot of uh, benefits for us. I think it, it's, a, it's one of the wonderful things that happened to us actually. So that's the first competition with, uh, like with these big names, XFAB, Cadence and Coventer. And being a winner, of course, that means a lot of us. At least, and being at, at the top three, that's just amazing for us. Uh, and I think it will be good also for our future and our CV. <laughs> yeah. I, I personally was happy and uh, I was happy to be, uh, to, to be a part of the winning team. And uh, I was surprised. I think also the competition stuff, the way it's designed, learning a lot of uh, softwares. Uh, yeah, I just like it. Like it's, we benefit and also they benefit a lot from our feedback. So it was a, a great yeah, opportunity. So it, it began as a competition uh, for us. And then uh, eventually it became a learning process, very uh, involved learning process and kind of a collaboration. We got a lot of help from, from, uh, from the sponsors of the, the competition. And, and I'm happy that my students are totally educated <laughs> now. <laughs>